So we're on to part two, Taming the Beast. So this is where I start to look up at um, a bit more theory. The, the stories uh, are still in there, you know, of what I was doing and whatever, but um, I'm, I'm looking more at, uh, at the stuff that did actually work. Now, this is the, the part of the book, I suppose, if you're not interested in personal histories. If you skim across to this, you know, I get into all sorts of uh, um, things that were great for me. Fasting, ketogenic diet, acceptance, low-dose naltrexone. That's always useful as a, a little, um, you know, little boost before you get everything right. Removing environmental stresses, non-native EMFs water and hydration, artificial light, you know, this this is what Jack is huge on, disrupting our circadian biology. It's um, much more important than you would think. A lot of people think, oh, it's diet, or oh, exercise, oh, stop drinking and smoking. These are kind of red herrings in a lot of ways. It's all down to circadian biology, and then diet becomes uh, less of a mystery as well when you understand that. Taking on partners, so important, getting people to um, to support you, whether it's a healthcare practitioner who, who's really clued up, whether it's Facebook groups, friends who are knowledgeable and supportive, whatever. Balancing your emotions. Um, throwing out beliefs, you know? The, the, whole, the whole business of emotional balancing and throwing out old beliefs and fears that might be uh, contributing to, to, these, to these conditions. Um, since this book, I would say the one thing I'd change is to say, honestly, not a ketogenic diet. If you're in this mess, go straight for something like um, uh, Natasha Campbell McBride's GAPS diet, the first stage of it, all meat, bone broths. Um, uh, Zofia Clements and Chaba Tot, they work at Paleo Medicina in Hungary. They, it's their baby, I think. And they're starting to show that the gut never really heals until the last of the vegetable matter's taken out. This is the only thing I would change. I hadn't quite got to full carnivore when I wrote this book. So <clears throat> if, you, um, if you read this, go to full carnivore, but the journey up to that is in there. Um, so yeah, but also throwing out your old beliefs, you know, throwing out your old beliefs about dietary systems, about who you are, about your happiness, about your life path, about everything. This is it. So anyway, here we go. The throwing out beliefs and, and balancing the emotions. There's, there's lots of stuff about there, that in there. And then I get into diet in detail, where I get into the whole ketogenic thing, that my experiments with veganism, vegetarianism, the blood type diet. This is a big distraction. Don't get stuck in that. The paleo diet, very good to keep people healthy, if they really interpret it right, you know. But uh, eating bananas in the winter in England, it discusses the pitfalls of the paleo diet and how if you're really sick it might not get you that well. Um, discussions about whether we should eat meat or not, the moral side of it, all the misconceptions about meat, um, subtler energies, is it kinder to the planet, is it really bad for animals? Not really. Not really. It's uh, it's really the crops that are doing it. Okay. Then a big section on what to eat and what not to eat for calming autoimmunity. Some real, uh, real definite rules there that about things that you can't eat, what you can eat, the subtleties of that. Teaching you how to listen to yourself. Other areas to look at. This is chapter nine. All, all kinds of things that you could do. Artificial light and earthing. More on that. Liver flushing. Controversial subject. Um, very effective, strangely. Improving your sleep. You, no, nobody heals if they don't sleep properly. Um, enemas, you know. It, 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 I don't really agree with them once the gut flora is balanced or whatever it is happens down there. But they were huge for me when I was in that much pain. If you go straight to a carnivore diet, doubt if you'll ever need them. Anti-inflammatories, anti the natural ones that you, you, you might need uh, in the short term instead of the non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, which is so damaging, you'll, you'll never get well. It's like filling up a bucket with holes in and then punching more holes at the same time. Sulfur and MSM, you, you know, the sulfur pathways in the, in, in the body, this is very important. Vitamin D, vitamin K, B12, electrolytes, you know, magnesium, sodium, potassium, calcium, balancing all this up, chiropractic and massage, a little bit on cannabis oil. Um, 
People think it's a real magic bullet. It isn't really as useful, but there we go. Exercise here. Um, way, ways to exercise when you're in real pain. Ways to exercise as you come out of pain. Um, all sorts of, uh, of, of, of other things like EFT and the work for balancing emotions. Um, working with dreaming. There's a nice bit of woo-woo there for you, the working with dreaming um, and, and the clues you can get from your own dreams. Um, okay, well, this kind of leads me into part three, the nature of the beast. Mm -hmm.